When working with Power BI, it is very important to have a good balance between giving enough context, enough data to your users, but also having a good visual composition, meaning not cramping too many charts and graphic in your pages. So what happens when a user is requiring you to see and have more detailed data, but you don't want to put many, uh, a lot more information in your pages report? There are many options like drill through, but one like that I want to show you today is to create a sliding pane. The, slide, the sliding pane that I want to show you how, uh, how it is done is this sliding pane that I have in here. So basically when we click on detail, the sliding pane opens and this is usually when the user will see the additional information, the additional, in this case, what I use it a lot is for line item operational information. And then they can also close it to hide the details. Now, how do we do this? this? Let me make a quick pause in here to invite you to the Vault. The Vault is a toolkit that contains everything you need to wireframe, prototype, build, and document your next awesome Power BI project. We have included the files you need to jumpstart your next Power BI report, as well as an extensive training gallery focused on Figma, UI, and UX for Power BI developers. You can find the Vault in beef.pro slash the Vault and get a 20% discount using the code beef20. Now, let's go back to the video. This one is done basically only with bookmarks. The bookmarks, the way that I like to use bookmarks is via groups. And when you group items, the bookmark management is easier. And I will show you in a bit why uh, do I mean that it's easier, the bookmark management. So in this case, the groups that I have in here and I will zoom in, uh, we have a group that is called detail. This group contains a shape, which is the one that we see here. It also contains a button, which is the button to open the pane. And we also contain another group within the group, which is called expanded. This expanded is the pane, is the pane that contains the additional information for our user, okay? Let me show you the expanded one. And this is the group. Now let's go and start recording our bookmarks. For uh, creating this type of uh, effects, what we need is to have the format pane. We also need the bookmark pane and the selection. You will find this on the, on the view option. You will find the format, the bookmarks, sorry, the, for, uh, the format, the bookmarks, and the selection pane. Now, while clicking Control on my keyboard, I will open these panes on my Power BI desktop. Let's go and record our first group. And in this case, the first uh, bookmark that we are going to record is that uh, I am selecting the button for opening, but I am also selecting the expanded uh, hidden group. And in this case, I will add the bookmark. Remember that uh, for selecting these two different uh, items, what you have to do is to click control on your keyboard, and then you will be able to select both of them. I will update this uh, bookmark. And why do you have to select also the hidden version of the, of the, or the hidden element? Because in this case, when we record our bookmarks, we are not going to record data, meaning that we are not going to record any filters, any highlighting that have already happened. And we, are, we only want to record the selected visuals. And in this case, we have to record the visuals which are hidden and also the ones that are visible. And this is why we have to select these two items. The second bookmark that we are going to record in this case, I am going to hide the detail button and I will show my expanded group. Remember that the expander group also contains the hide details button. Okay, once more, I will select the hidden, the button which is now hidden. I will click control on my keyboard. And the next thing that I will do is that I will click on also set to select the expanded group. I will add this second bookmark. I will once more say, I don't want data to be stored and only for the selected visual. Let me rename these bookmarks and this bookmark will be hidden and this bookmark will be visible. Now, we test our bookmarks and we see that they are working very nice. 
when we click on visible we see the sliding pane that opens we don't see the uh, button that opens the detail but we when we click on close we only see the detail button meaning that our pane is working properly now an additional thing that we need to do is that we need to select the button in this case i'm selecting the detail button and in the format pane i will go to action i will go to bookmark and the bookmark i will select visible because we want while clicking this button to activate the visible bookmark let's check if the bookmark is working i will click control i will select uh, press control on my keyboard to test the button and then i will click the button now we see that it's working fine because while clicking the detail button we are activating the visible bookmark now we go and do the same with the height detail button in this case we go to the formatting pane we select bookmark and in this case i will select the hidden because while clicking this button we want to activate the hidden version of the bookmark and we select and now it's hidden uh, and we click uh, we select control on our keyboard and we see that the buttons they are working properly now let me show you one advantage of working with bookmarks basically sorry with groups and bookmarks basically the case is that imagine that you would like to add an additional group uh, or an additional visual within this uh, within this uh, sliding pane and in this case i will select this one control c Control V, I du duplicate it, and it's this table. Now I will bring this table inside the group. And you have to remember that we apply the bookmark to the group and not to all the visuals and all the elements within the group. So in this case, I am bringing this additional visual to the group, and our bookmarks, they are still working properly without the need of re recording the bookmarks because the bookmark that we apply was to the group and not to the individual parts that made this group so this is one of the advantage of working with uh, bookmarks now we can close our detail and in this case we didn't modify we didn't dramatically modify the visual appearance of our report and if needed we have this detail pane that can give a lot more information and a lot more context to the user if required. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know if you would like to know anything else about working with bookmarks and sliding panes in the comments below. Thank you very much. Bye bye.